guys, I picked up a couple 750 milliamp batteries off of Amazon by Ovonic. Now these are to take a little bit of weight off the chassis of Thor, but still give me a great runtime. These are on an XT30 connector. I'll show these to you on the table. Get one in Thor and outside we go. Let's go. This is it as compared to the other 1500 milliamps. Granted it's half the milliamps, but look, it's less than half the size. So as battery technology progresses, they're getting smaller and still packing a heck of a punch. So this is gonna take off a bunch of weight. I'm gonna weigh these and I'm gonna weigh this with the adapter that I'm running for this video and uh, just see how much weight I'm taking off the chassis. Let's start out with the CNHL. We have 143 grams, five ounces. Helios, 125 grams, 4.4 ounces. And here we go with this little guy with the adapter. 67 grams, 2.4 ounces. So even with the adapter, it's about half the weight. With the adapter off, 2.1 ounces. Yeah. There it is. Such a little guy in there. I like that. And let's give this thing a good old fashioned run. Here, let's see what we've got. Yeah. Right up, nice. Tight, we're gonna ride that point. Get that back in to come around. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that, it about went over. Trying to pull down right there, come on. Got it. Nice, nice line, Thor. Now we're gonna sit here and just give this thing a good run, try some awesome lines. Ooh, ooh, I wonder. Okay, okay. Uh, hmm, let me try something here. This could be bad. All right, what I'm gonna try here is I want to see if I can ride this all the way around. Probably going to get a good solid crash right here. Let me see here. Oh, yep, about to go. Oh, that did not work guys try to ride that thing through look at that <laughs> oh man that's a good line though i gotta i'm gonna have to try that again sometime that'd be an awesome line and now i'm probably really going to crash it i want to try to hang off of that look at the angle of how that is set up look at that so that is pretty much vertical. Uh, probably try to use my four wheel steering, get the back end down. I got to hang that front right tire. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> wow. All right, so I got to get the, got to get that thing to move just right here. Um, Whoa. I can keep that front end to keep the hook. Holy moly. I'm gonna try to hold it and show you guys how this thing is going here. Come on, come on, come on, no way. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Okay, I haven't made it yet, but I know it's gonna happen. Wow! That line, right there. Look at that. <laughs> wow. I don't think I can top that. Oh man, this is turning into a drive video, but man, that's awesome. I'm gonna see if I can get this. I mean, the battery's doing its job. Let's see here. Let me get a uh, front steer only. Get that front uh, hook. Now I'm gonna go to rear steer only. So I can bring the back end down a little bit. Like that. Yes. All right, now that the four wheel steer. Let's see if I can keep a hook on this. Back over through here so you guys can see the lean we got going. Oh, I just floated the front right tire, picked that up, which actually helped it out quite a bit. Come on, little guy, come on. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, man. Okay. Um, get back on the battery test here. Sorry guys, uh, uh, sometimes I drive this thing, I just look for the most craziest gnarly lines and then this thing just makes them. Oh man. I might be working on something that can give Thor a challenge though. It'll be interesting. It will be interesting. So right now I'm just simply gonna give it a drive, you know? Maybe I can look at the video footage and all that and give you guys an approximate run time. Um, I mean, if you're going to be trying to bash with it or blasting little sand hills or something, then obviously your run time is going to be different. But on the rocks, I mean, usually my stuff is pretty darn efficient. Look at that, look at that. All right, right here. Ah, kind of got out of the wrong spot there for a dig action. There we go. Should pivot right there nice and smooth. Nice, nice. Let's go ahead and give it a punch. Let's just see. <laughs> That's the easy way up twin ridges. See if we can come right on up right hook. I'm not in the best of spots to get the video of this, but. Got it. Wow, I just jumped twin ridges, went down, dug, and came up right hook in about 30 seconds. This thing is awesome. Except for when you get off line like that. When I first built this, I was like, man, it's too big to fit anywhere. Now it's like, heck, after driving the uh, SCX6, ah, uh, yeah, this is a piece of cake. It fits everywhere. <laughs> I'll look at the video footage, get that time. I've got a timer set right now is where I'm just simply going to drive around a little bit. It's nowhere near fast enough for jumping, so that's just not gonna happen. Just gonna drive it. Guys, the little battery is impressive. Now, looking at the raw footage, I actually spent about five minutes just kind of varying throttle between about 75 to 100% just 
out and around, and it was about 15 minutes total runtime. If I was more easy, crawling in the rocks, probably would have went upwards of 20 minutes on that. Um, but that's pretty good runtime for such a small battery, guys. Um, but now that we're done with that, those lines were epic. Man, I never ever would have thought that those lines coming around sideways were even possible until this thing right here came along. Oh man, uh, those lines were awesome. I've got to try to come up with something else. Something else. Some other build that can follow this thing. Because right now, I don't believe Optimus 3 can do it. I'm pretty sure a Mjolnir can't do it. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have anything right now that can follow this, especially on the side hills. But that doesn't mean I may not have something else in the works. So all I got to do is stay tuned. Should be something coming up soon, maybe towards the first of the year. Guys, um, check that description. I'll put all kinds of stuff up for Thor. Whole bunch of Vitavon stuff on Thor. Um, it works phenomenal. They are affiliate links, Amain, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Use those links to help support the channel. Um, if you see something you like, hopefully I've got a link down below. Boom, click the link, it takes you right to it. Yeah, Amain, eBay, or Amazon, or Horizon. It's all right there. So guys, check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed, give it a big thumbs up, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you wanna become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So guys, use those links, make sure you subscribe. Thank you all for watching.